10.15 in the morning. I just got through doing my laundry and all that here at the terminal. Um, man, I swear, I don't know what it was. Every time I would go to hit the record, you know, to try to do something for this little vlog, it my phone would ring every single time. It never failed. Man, so I kind of like just gave up on this one. I mean, I really didn't record much of anything anyway. I was just starting to get into the groove of trying to figure all this out. Uh, anyway, you know, trying to get better with, you know, uh, like, okay, I'm getting ready to do this. I need to record this or put this up, you know, to, to try to learn this vlog and stuff. And as soon as I start getting the hang of it a little bit, I go home for a week and uh, then I, I get back out and then I'm sick for pretty much a, a whole week. And uh, so, man, I'm just, I don't know uh, exactly what's been going on with me here lately, but I tell you what, it hasn't been very fun. I mean, uh, literally I would go to, I would get like a hundred miles in and I would end up so tired, so, so weak, feeling just, man, I don't know what it was. I would have to lay down, and I know, like, one day, I slept 16 hours, and that was when my, like, uh, it was that day, my driver manager was like you know are you okay something going on with you this is not like you and uh i said yeah yeah i'm fine i was just tired whatever and uh i ended up having to tell her you know i'm like i'm sick but anyway the last two days i have been pretty good everything's all right I'm gonna work on trying to get better at this vlogging deal because it seems like that's what people like. Um, you know, the vlogging. I'll tell you what else I've thought about doing. Hey, I'm thinking about doing some uh, ASMR. There's <laughs> one guy, he started his YouTube channel literally, uh, now it's been 60 days, two months, this dude has started his YouTube Within the first month, this guy was monetized. He's doing ASMR. He's like a, he's an older cat. You know, he's cool and everything, but I run across him on YouTube and uh, I just start, was listening to his story and uh, this guy literally been doing YouTube for a month and is already monetized. Like, I'm like, wow, you know, somebody's on here with, with a microphone whispering and making tapping sounds and whatnot and this dude's already monetized like he's got well over a thousand subs i'm stuck at 40 or 39 or something like that <laughs> and i'm out here doing real shit you know like i'm real doing real work i gotta quit cussing in this all right look i want to end this one. i'm just I know this one kind of sucks. It is what it is. I'm going to throw it together. I'm going to throw it up. It's another one down. It's another one in the books. My next load, I'm going to try my best to do better with this vlogging deal. You know, trying to record more stuff, whatever. Um, I do find it kind of fun when, uh, when I'm feeling good and I get into it a little better. So that's what I'm going to try to do. All right, guys, you know what we got to do. Let's make the money later. Well, okay. So, well, let me get moved out of the way here. I am, uh, I'm still at the terminal in Minnesota. I learned that if you take if you're going to drink instant coffee, if you put it in a, oh crap. If you put it in a Love's cup, you put that instant coffee in a Love's cup, it makes it much better. What in the world are they doing down there? 
but yeah. Um, so I stopped in down here. And I got my, or I picked up a uh, alternator. for my APU so let's let's go back here and check this out so the thing is oh don't mind me I got a rag laying here cleaning rag laying on my bed uh oh don't mind me my pillows are messed up my blankets not folded perfect don't mind me so, so apparently this is a 14.5 volt alternator, 120 amp, okay? The thing is, this right here. I don't know how holy cow that can't be right oh okay so never mind I see now how I'm how I can do this so I have to take the pulley off of my old ones. What is he doing? I have to take the pulley off of my old one and put on this one. Okay. Man, I tell you what, this is one hefty <laughs> alternator. Yeah. So Okay, no problem. Cause he was telling me he's like, you're gonna have to have an impact. But I should be able to I should be able to do this. So I got that picked up. Finally. So that I can get this taken care of. Now if I get back down towards Georgia or whatever somewhere where it's a little bit warmer then I can go ahead and change this out wait a minute warranty registration Do I need to send this into Thermo King or what? Bi directional fan. Okay. I don't know. But anyway. Okay. Yeah. So, if I can get somewhere where it's a bit warmer, um, I'm, I can change that out. I do need that done for sure. Uh, so the part, the alternator alone, is like three hundred and seventy dollars. I've <laughs> that's a very hefty alternator, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Okay, so 
we're going up to um give me just a second here let me find this again i literally i literally just got up a few Within minutes ago minutes of um i came back down here to the terminal i slept somewhere else but i came back down here uh to pick up that alternator and uh i got my dispatch i'm going to uh st cloud minnesota which is back up past the, the cities a little bit 96 miles from where i am right now and i knew it that as soon as i left the cities and come down here i would pick up up there but if i stayed up there then i would have to come back down here this is the way it always goes so we're going up there to pick up something i don't know and uh i'll get back with everybody later and let you know what i get and all that good stuff Well, here we are. Let me get this hoodie off. Man, I tell you, it's bad when these uh, super truckers can't even back into their door straight. So, um, I get here. They first give me door 97. So... I, uh, I go back outside to get in my truck, to come over to door 97. There's already somebody in door 97. I have to go back in there and I'm like, would you want me to wait till this guy leaves or what? Because I'm pretty sure you said 97 was empty to back into there, but there's somebody in there. So they say, no, go to 98. Of course, 98 is beside 97. The guy in 97 is parked like here's 99 here's 98 is empty 97 and 97 is parked like this he is at such an angle i could not get backed in without either hitting him or the guy in the other door and there is literally five foot between each door but that guy is so at an angle that i can't get in the door between him and the other truck so i i, I try to back up you know obviously he sees i'm having problems he uh he's like you can't back up and i'm like no because you're at such an angle i can't get in without either hitting your mirror or the other guy's mirror uh, but if I'm going to hit a mirror, I'd rather hit yours because you're the one at an angle. You're off by like three foot. How do you not know this? He's like, he's looking at it. He said, well, it looks pretty straight to me. I said, whoa, okay. I said, but if you'd get out of your truck and go and look in front, and look at, I said, you would, you would see right away why I can't. I quit fooling with him right away. I just went on back in and I said, look. I said, I can't get back in that door because one of them super truckers is at such an angle. I can't get in without hitting somebody. So they're like, okay, go ahead and uh, go to door 100. So I come to door 100 and I just, you know, I pull up, I swerve over to the left, kind of snake it, you know what I mean? And then just shoop, right into 100. And he's standing back there watching me. A few minutes later, uh, after getting in the truck, I come back to the bunk, right? I peek out my window and I see him getting out and going up there and looking. I guess he thought maybe I was lying to him. I don't know. I 
I'm trying to get caught up on paperwork right now. It sounds like they may be getting ready to start loading. I've never been to this place. It's uh, something, some kind of cold brewery place. St. Cloud, Minnesota. And we are going somewhere up in Pennsylvania. Um, I haven't looked at all the information just yet. Um, I'm trying to get caught up on everything else real quick. But as soon as I know, I'll let you guys know. All right, yeah, I'm going to end this here, this, this part anyway, while I get my paperwork done. So, got loaded up. I got uh, 40,547 pounds of Red Bull, okay? Also, after I got up here to Osseo, Wisconsin, exit 88 off 94, I got my fuel and I realized I got two hours and 36 minutes and I got to take a 30 minute break. After sitting there for 35 minutes, I've still only got two hours and 36 minutes and I'm like, what? So I look at my 70 hour clock and I have ran my 70 down to two and a half hours. So. It is now 6.30 in the p.m. And um, I get eight hours back at midnight. So I'm picking <laughs> crumbs up out of the floor like a crackhead here. Um, so eight hours back at midnight on top of the two hours and 36 minutes that I have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to shut it down. I'm going to keep that two and a half hours, get the eight hours on top of that. And then after midnight, I'm going to get up again and uh, run out what time I got left. So I'm already in sleeper berth on the clock. So let's get back in the sleeper berth back there and then we'll get up and finish this out okay so this load i have to say uh even my 75 percent it pays pretty good pretty good i'll tell you this it's well over two dollars a mile um it's a little over the two and a half dollars a mile so but it goes from saint cloud minnesota to uh New, uh, Northampton, Pennsylvania, uh, somewhere off of 78, somewhere in that area. Total miles for loaded miles is 1220. My load time was uh, 1300 on Monday, and I deliver Wednesday morning at 8 a.m. So, a little bit of a time crunch there. But I can run over 600 miles a day, no problem. The only thing is, is this old damn ELD. I think the 70 hour rule is probably one of the most worthless, you know. If they let you get recaps back and run recaps, why do you even have a 70 hour rule? Like, it, I don't know. It Maybe it makes sense to some people, but to me, it don't make no sense. Who, I don't know who anybody is to tell me that I can only work 70 hours a week. But if I work, you know, 12 hours today, then in eight days, I can work 12 hours again. I don't know. I can understand the 11 and the 14, but you know what? It is what it is. I deal with it. I run with it whatever i make the best of it and i do the best with it that i can and that's all i can do so until i get back up after midnight peace out guys well it is uh 1 in the a.m and we are rolling 
Um, I couldn't get rolling until 1.30. I stayed in sleeper berth for eight hours. I wanted to go ahead and get my, my head start on getting to through the Chicago land area as quick as I could. Um, so that gave me eight hours to get through Chicago land and then um, if I could make it to that first service plaza on the toll route, on the toll road, I could uh, do a two hour break, maybe you know catch a two hour nap and then I'll head on for the rest of the time that I have remaining. Um, which won't be a whole lot. I think I got 10 hours exactly that I can drive uh, today. So let's see if we can make this by 8 a.m. Wednesday morning. It literally just dawned on me why I'm not good at this vlogging deal. Because picking up a camera or a phone to record is not a habit of mine. But I'm trying to make it a habit so I get better. Later. Can't wait to get this alternator put on my APU. Man. I woke up freezing to death bad thing is it's only 30 degrees this time it's like the APU will run for a while and I, I can run the heat for a while and then I can't it won't it, I don't know after it runs a while it won't charge the batteries and then once it won't change, uh, charge the batteries, it just turns off and it won't, so therefore I can't run my heat. So I had to wake up, I threw a beanie on, I threw a blanket over me and started the truck up. And now we're sitting here with the truck running. I just woke up, it is uh, 9.30. I need to get a 34 hour reset in. I've ran all my time out. I have three hours and 40 minutes. I can go ahead and get up to exit 226 in Ohio, up there at that last, it's the last Petro before the Pennsylvania line. I can make it up there I'll have to get fuel. <clears throat> I'm going to take a shower and then um, I guess shortly after that it'll be midnight and uh, I get my I get my recaps back at midnight. You know, I'm half asleep. pick up with you later man I'll tell you what this is going to be kind of rough to do make it where I need to make it on time I got less than two hours on my 70 now I get back six hours at midnight I'm seven hours away I'm going ahead and stopping in here at this Petro take a shower I got people looking at me like I'm some type of retarded because I'm holding my phone like this in the recording so I believe it was uh, with both feet told me try holding the phone sideways when I'm recording so that's what I'm doing now <laughs> I'll see the difference Okay, hang on. Okay. 
We in here. <sighs> hey, Mike. How you doing? You ready to wash your horse? Yup. I move this thing so fast. Probably like, man, slow down. I get it, I know. But this is why I like Petro, man. Because you come in your shower and look, you got flowers in your shower. You have more towels than what you need. Look here, shower, oh, let me, there we go, that helps. Nice shower curtain, nice shower head, 13 foot taller than I am, you know. Okay, look here, you got a, you got a wonderful uh, crappa, you got a blow dryer, probably don't work. And you got Mike. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a shower. Um, I'll record something later. Okay, leaving the Petro. This is the uh, exit 226. Last, uh, last uh, truck stop for the Pennsylvania line. So yeah, that's what we're getting ready to do. We're getting ready to hit the PA mountains here. Um, and I'll catch up with you guys later. I suck at this vlogging. I ain't gonna lie. But I am trying to get better. I am working on picking this camera up more and recording more. I am working on that. It, like I said, it's just not something that uh, that I do a lot, you know. It's some of these other guys that that do the vlogging, man. They they kill it. They do a good job. Uh, I'm learning. I'm trying. Bear with me, guys. I greatly appreciate those of you that do watch the videos, that like, that comment, that do all that good stuff. Uh, to see some of the comments um, like uh, you know Tolga you told me you know it was glad to see me again man that that made my that made my day uh, with both feet to keep up with the comment I mean uh, keep up with the content and I love it thank you guys so much I greatly appreciate you we'll catch up with y'all later and that's what we got left right there zero on the 70 so yeah um got up here just right before my appointment time we made it i think it was like 605 miles or 610 something somewhere around there so nothing special about this video nothing at all um i just trying to throw something together get something out there just because i said i would uh maybe when it warms up i get some decent sleep or whatever i might do some something better i don't know i'm just tired so i'm gonna wrap this one up i'm gonna try to throw this together and get it out so uh maybe the next one will get on something good but i gotta do a 34 hour reset i might try to think of something to throw together over the reset after i get some sleep or whatever but everybody have a good one be safe i appreciate everybody if you can if you watch this if you make it through the end you're watching this right here right now hit the like button for me let me know that you were here that you watched it thank you guys have a good one